Okay, I have something to admit. Oh, good, right? You have a type. No. <laughs> it wasn't really that. It wasn't really out of nowhere. Oh, I hate a crickets. Like why? Anyways, I'm back here. Boom. Just finished. You feel me? The paper. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I, I still ain't read it, so I'm about to read it. I'm gonna read it out loud for y'all, but um, I'm not gonna lie, it's a hard paper, like, right? pat myself on the back because I'm proud. But um, I didn't read for y'all. In the movie 42, starring the late Chadwick Boseman, we see the obstacles Jackie Robinson faced as a black man in a white dominated sport. During that time, Jim Crow laws were still prominent in many states in America, which made it challenging for him to do what he loves play ball. You get it, which is the play ball. Around the time that Jackie Robinson played, it was very unlikely for black athletes to play with white athletes. Many white Americans still viewed black people as someone who was inferior to them. So when he was chosen to play for the Brooklyn Dodgers, many refused to accept the fact. Amongst those people were fans of the sport, the other teams in the league, and even most of his teammates. Throughout the movie, we see how many people focused, oh, let me put that indentation, okay. Throughout the movie, we see how many people focus more on the color of his skin rather than his talent and unique way of playing the game. The social change that occurred in the movie was the abolishment of segregation in baseball. Since Jackie, Rob since Jackie Robinson was the first black man to play Major League Baseball, he broke the color barrier in the league, obviously. Throughout the movie, there were places that were labeled specifically to let African Americans know what they were allowed to use, when they were allowed to use things, and even if they were allowed in certain places. For example, Rachel, which is Jack Rob Jackie Robinson's wife, was seen entering the bathroom for colored people at the stadium when she found out she was pregnant. One of the most significant scenes to me was when Jackie was fighting the urge to react to all the racial slurs thrown at him by Ben Chapman. Chapman. Getting all those words thrown at him, especially in front of so many eyes, is indeed hard because they will use your reaction to help justify why he shouldn't. They would use... His reaction to help justify why he shouldn't play in the LMB. Um, I find it so I find it to be significant because as a black person myself, we're taught to take certain things without taking action to avoid getting in trouble. In addition, Ben Chapman represented all the people in the stands and everywhere else that refused to accept the fact that a black man had the equal opportunity to play. Jackie Robinson represented all the people who understood that this was a start that will later impact not just baseball, but everything else in America where segregation was still present. Another significant scene was in scene was towards the end when Pee Wee said, maybe tomorrow we'll all wear 42. Then later the whole team wore Robinson's jersey number in solidarity. Solidarity, whatever. This showed a shift in not only the team, but also the fans. This was significant because it showed how Jackie was finally gaining acceptance. Pee Wee represented everyone who started to see Jackie Robinson, the amazing ball player, and not Jackie Robinson, the Negro. The segregation dynamics in sports have changed since Jackie Robinson. We have people from all around the world playing sports together despite their race, nationality, size, sexual identity, and more. The main issue today regarding sports is the difference in financial support when it comes to women and men's sports associations. For example, a male basketball player makes more in the NBA season than a female basketball player makes in her WNBA season. Outside of sports, there's, still, there's a new Jim Crow that still makes it possible for people in certain establishments to discriminate. In society today, African Americans are still fighting for basic equal rights. The mass incarceration of African Americans have been used to strip them from their rights. They are denied rights because they are viewed as criminals whether an african-american is guilty or not once they and they are entered in the system they may they lose many of their rights it may not be as noticeable as the jim crow's jim crow laws but incarcerating african-americans and denying them their civil rights is just as bad as the jim crow laws dang this thing talking about plagiarized three percent yeah that didn't though i mean i plagiarized my own work but that's not even what they highlighted as plagiarism but um yeah now I'm about to do this little quiz. I'm about to start it. Let me see that. For me, we're about to get into it. For me. Cause I'm productive like that. Yeah.